This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I jinxed myself. And I've seen IB Area, an even more surreal film compared to yesterday, directed by Ryan Trey Carton back in 2007. It's set somewhere between reality and the internet, with an ever-shifting cast of characters who exist in a state of anarchy and exuberance, going through their days trading banter and one-liners, as if trying to always keep the upper hand in any situation, no matter how mundane. At the center of it all is IB2, a clone who decides to leave their home and assume several different identities in order to find a new life. At least I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. After a while, everything starts to blend together as it descends further and further into chaos. It's difficult to explain the story here because of how blatantly the movie ignores it. It's got enough to set things up, then shirks it all in favor of pure action, give or take a few dialogue scenes and other distractions. Energy and activity absolutely bleeds through every scene, making for an experience that moves almost too quickly to be confusing. It's also obviously disjointed, moving from one episode of IB2's Identity Crisis to another without any clean segues or narrative logic, with more than a few instances where the movie will linger on a location and its characters for long enough that you expect them to have more significance, then move on and watch other people doing their own thing. On one hand, it's an overload on the senses and nearly forces you to put everything together on your own. But on the other hand, it seems very much intentional, almost as if it's sticking to its internet-based roots and emulating the hypersized amount of content being consumed at any time and the inversely decreasing amount of attention that can be given or is allowed when checking all of it out. There's a bit of that content-driven approach within the characters as well, in that for as diversified and distinct as they may seem, there's an underlying force of creation, exposure, and notoriety behind all of them, to the point that even their dialogue is almost always some quotable line made to be merchandised later. I'm not entirely sure if that's the intention, but at the very least it feels like everybody's racing to be some idealized version of themselves, while IB2 is stuck trying to be somebody at all. Again, I'm almost only guessing when it comes to how this movie is telling its story. The information overload is propelled almost entirely by the actual presentation being put forth, taking the hyperactive approach to the characters and writing, and applying it to everything else. Visually, scenes are saturated with color and often loaded to the brim with details, as are the cast, who are either wearing gaudy clothing, or are slathered in body paint or hair dye. Cinematography is almost always ground level or handheld, adding to the general aesthetic of this being a product of the internet and a culture of vlogging and video creation. The editing also plays into this a lot, not only through the aforementioned non-linear storytelling, but also the audio and sound design, which further plays into the notion of being somebody online who you aren't when offline, by futzing with characters' voices, whether it be altering their pitch or their speed. Ultimately, I do think that there are themes of identity, fame, happiness, and other personal sorts of validation, all packaged into a film which was reflective of its time and the people who would have likely been looking for such takeaways in their own lives. The exaggerations in this movie might be off-putting to most people, but they still come from some personal experience. At least, I hope they do. IB Area Ryan Trey Carton, 2007 Four Stars I would recommend giving this a watch, but like last time, don't say I didn't warn you.
That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. This movie reminds me a lot of the old internet before they let everybody start using it. Those were the good old days. You had to be there to really get it, though. <laughs>